Hi there and welcome to another video looking at Light Rider tips and tricks. So today I want to talk to you about colours. Now with, with RGB PAR cans, uh, those lighting fixtures actually allow you to mix any amount of red, green and blue uh, to produce an overall colour. Some fixtures may even have additional channels for white, amber and UV. And you can mix all, any of those kind of three or even any of those six channels together to produce some pretty cool colours. Moving heads, however, uh, don't often use that method. They very often will have colour wheels, and that means they can only produce a very limited range of colours. Now, in Light Rider, colours are selected by tapping the colour button. The, the colours in the centre are, the, are RGB mixes that are available using RGB fixtures, and the selections around the outside are fixed colours available on fixed colour wheels, such as in most moving heads. Now, Light Rider can uh, display up to 11 individual colours. And, uh, and the way that it does that is it actually maps uh, each colour setting from the, from the profile of your light um, and maps it to the nearest colour on the wheel. So as if your lighting fixture has an orange colour segment and its colour wheel, uh, Light Rider will attempt to match the orange segment to it so that when you tap orange, your light will show orange. However, when I first set up my mark gesture spots, I noticed that I could choose the pink and purple colours and yet I only ever saw pink, it never actually selected purple and purple seemed to be rather elusive, I could never get to choose that. And so uh, the reason for that was simply that actually the profile was wrong. So if you're finding issues with selecting individual colours, then you may find that there is in fact uh, uh, something wrong with the profile and I'm afraid to solve that, you're probably going to have to talk to the Light Rider support team. Um, the other issue I have found is that I've got uh, some ADJ Warlocks um, and they have got uh, more than 11 colours. So I'm afraid Light Rider will only support up to 11 colours on its colour wheel. So there are some that I'm, I simply can't access from this individual colour wheel itself. Um, that's, uh, that is just a constraint within Light Rider um, and there's nothing that your profile um, or you're going to be able to do to change that. If you do want to select uh, a very specific colour for a preset, then you can always go into fixtures view. So uh, if I go and select my uh, cure, uh, gesture spots, select group mode, choose the gesture spots, you can see over here I've got a channel number uh, is that number nine, which, no, sorry, channel number, where am I looking for? I'm looking for color eight. Channel number eight is my color wheel. Um, and if you were to look in the, the user manual for the gesture spots, you would find all of the individual channel, channel values for each color. And if you want to set one to be a very specific color, you can do it like this. You can simply set your color uh, manually here. Now some fixtures will also allow you to colour scroll. Now Light Rider um, inherently won't allow you to choose more than one colour and have them scroll. And, I, and for what it's worth I'm with them because I'm not a massive fan of colour scrolling um, in moving heads. But if you do want to do that you can do that here as well. So if you were to go and look at in the uh, user manual for your lighting fixture, usually in the kind of top end range of the of the uh, DMX values, you'll find some a value that allows you to scroll colours and there's very often a, a speed as well so you can range from slow to fast. So if you really do want to have colours scrolling uh, you can do that here and as I said this also allows you to ac access some of those colours that you can't access um, on the colour wheel itself. Okay, so that's it for this particular video. I hope that helps and explains why sometimes the colour wheel doesn't always do what you want it to do. Uh, or uh, if there's a case where you do actually want your colours to scroll, um, then again, it's not particularly obvious on here. In fact, you can't have colour scrolling on here, um, but you would have to do that manually in fixtures mode. Okay, hope it all makes sense and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you.